Hey everyone, happy Friday. I don't know what day this will be shared, but Miss Peacock, happy Friday to you. Happy Friday. Felt like Girls Just Wanna Have Fun is the best song for you and I and Friday. What do you think? Yes, 100%. Yes. Well, it's good to see you. I haven't seen you in person in months. In months, it's been too long. Gosh, well, how have you been? I've been good, just keeping busy, looking forward to school starting. So, yeah. Good, have you been doing some back and forth? Your family's from California, is that right? Yes, I'm from California, so they've been there. Um, been doing a little back and forth, driving there and bringing my parents some supplies. And um, yeah, it's been nice to actually have some time to spend at home. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, Ms. Peacock, you started at a really interesting time last year. Um, yes. Sort of, we met uh, towards the end of, well, beginning of spring. Yes. And you, so you've been at New Way for a little bit, but your beginning to New Way, let's just say flexibility was the name of the game. Tell everyone <laughs> all of the things that you jumped into when you started last spring. So I believe I started in February. Um, and I started out as the aftercare coordinator. So I was doing a lot of the aftercare. Um, and then I kind of jumped in and was helping out, supporting some classes um, with Miss Houston and um, kind of taking over lunch duty, watching over everyone. And it was really great, I think, in my eyes to just get to know everyone and to get to know the kids, all the ages. So I personally think it was a great way to start. That's awesome. Well, we yeah. love you. And it was like, we've joked about this before, but you jumped in, it was going well, the kids were getting to know you, and then it was like, screech! Yeah. How about you do some online virtual learning <laughs> that are just getting to know you? <laughs> yeah, no, but it was awesome. Awesome. Well, um, this year we'll have you back, and I know it'll be another uh, flexible year, but tell us a little bit about what you're hoping to jump into this year. So I'm hoping to kind of just jump in wherever help is needed, um, supporting all over the school, teachers, um, helping out with kids, really anything that is needed. I'm happy to jump in. Awesome. We'll be yeah. Something tells me there'll be a lot of things that we will lean on you for this year. So I'm quite certain there will not be a, a, a challenge with finding things for you to do. Yes. Well, I'm excited to see what those are. So I want to learn a little bit more about you. I'm going to give you some rapid fire questions. Okay. First one being favorite candy. I think Reese's peanut butter cups. So good. Favorite holiday. Fourth of July. Mm, I love that. Yes. Uh, what about favorite article of clothing you've ever owned in your life? Overalls. Oh, I love overalls. And they were good when we were kids and now they're back. Yes, overall dresses, overall pants, everything overalls. That makes me so happy. I don't really feel like I could probably pull off the overalls right now. I it's still think good. I'm much too old, but you, I'm sure are rocking the overalls. They have, <laughs> they have like dressy ones now too, right? Yeah, yeah. They have, they're all, all over the place. So cool. Um, favorite place you've ever traveled? <sighs> Bali. Oh my gosh. When was this? This was last summer after I graduated. Oh, that's cool. Who did you go with? I went with one of my best friends from school. Um, we actually studied abroad together, so we knew we would travel well together. Um, but yeah, we went to four countries in Southeast Asia, and it was just amazing. Oh amazing. So tell me about your schooling. You grew up in California. Tell me about like your elementary and high school, and then all the way to college. I want to hear all about it. Yeah, so actually, uh, my mom went to the same high school that I did, so she grew up in the same area. Um, so yeah, I um, grew up in Newport Beach, California, and um, after high school, I went on to University of Arizona, and that's what brought me out here. Um, I absolutely loved my time there. Um, majored in communications and minored in family studies and human development and that's kind of where I realized I wanted to go into teaching. Um, I've always loved kids. I've always grown up doing child care and um, just absolutely love them so I'm excited to be around the kiddos again. That's awesome. Yeah. 
we were introduced through one of our new wave families, the Colmarks. Yes. And you were working with uh, Mr. Colmark in the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation doing some volunteer Correct. work. Yes. Um, an organization that's near and dear to my heart. Tell me a little bit about your involvement there and how did you get connected? So uh, my mom was on the board of the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation in Southern California. And so when I moved out here, uh, she mentioned that there was a chapter out here and um, I just really wanted to get involved. So I reached out and um, kind of got connected to Charles Colmark and um, started doing some volunteer work there and just absolutely fell in love with the community. And um, yeah, I'm actually still um, kind of in contact with them. I'm going to do some virtual events. Um, so yeah, I, I'm so thankful that, you know, we got connected through that and yeah, it's been awesome. That's wonderful. Well, that was a very good introduction for us. And yes, I remember even when he introduced us, I was like, I don't really have any positions right now, but like, I'll meet her. And then we met you and we knew that we needed to find something for you because you're so, yes. so I'm glad that that worked out. I know me too. So thankful. So fellow glasses wearer, I always yes. have a soft spot for uh, folks in glasses. When did you start wearing glasses? What age? I think I was going into middle school, like seventh grade. Okay. I was and I started not, I couldn't see the board in class and I was like, oh no, what's happening? So I was, I was definitely one of the first out of my friends. And have you ever done contacts? I've tried a lot. Mm -hmm. I've tried a lot of different times and they just, I'm not a fan. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're too irritating. Yeah. I um, got into contacts when I, so I started wearing glasses at fifth grade, but when I was, I think like in ninth grade, it was the first time that colored contacts came out. Oh, yes, yes. And I am telling you, it was, there were like ads for colored contacts in every teen magazine. And I had to beg my mom, but she finally caved and I got purple contacts. Purple, wow. What was I doing? I looked <laughs> so creepy, but I, in that moment, I was like, I am the coolest. I think it was like eighth grade, maybe ninth yep. grade. Like, I'm the coolest kid ever. And I remember, like, teachers would kind of look at me like, Mommy, like, what color are you? I'm like, purple, purple, <laughs> natural. And I'm really glad those are out of style because looking back, I don't know what I was thinking. And contacts for me also don't really work anymore. After I had kids, they just, like, won't stay in my eyes. Oh. Um, some flip, some switch flip. So I am back to glasses, and I love them. How many pair do you have? Oh, let's see. At least six or seven. But I have to say, these ones are my favorite, and so I put them on every time. <laughs> so I'll have to connect you to Miss Moss, you know, Belissa Moss, I'm sure, one of our lower schools. Yes, yes. And I share a love for glasses. We have some websites that we frequent. And awesome. we have a serious problem with purchasing glasses. Yes. Neither of us will ever confess how many pair we have. I have two that I just ordered over the summer, and they should be here any time. Oh, that's exciting. Do the links. She and I even have matching pairs that we wear sometimes. So, Oh, how sweet. You can join our glasses club. Yes, I would love that. Awesome. Well, we are super excited to have you this year and really excited for all of our students to have a chance to work with you from our first graders, likely all the way up to our 12th graders, supporting in a lot of our classes as we finally get back to campus. So Looking forward to seeing you. Thank you for staying yeah. with us and being patient as we've found our way. And of welcome course. to New Way. We're excited to have you again. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here. Awesome. Thanks, Ms. Peacock. Take care. Take care.